Hello, I'm standing in front of the Kennedy Union Ballroom where just a few hours ago, Dr. Eric Spina was announced as the next president of the University of Dayton. Spina joins the Dayton community after a 27-year career at Syracuse University. Holding a PhD and master's degrees in engineering, Spina will become only the second lay president in the university's history. In front of an upbeat crowd, Spina spoke about his enthusiasm toward a new position and even made a few jokes about his former position at Syracuse University. Apparently, his closets are flooded with orange <laughs> materials. So uh, I would ask the three of you to come up on stage for a moment. <laughs> to get him his flyer gear, uh, I'd also want to give you several hats and on the back of the house, office of the president, so you know where you're going. <laughs> now, I very clearly remember what I did on the night of March 22nd, 2014. <laughs> Do you remember what you <laughs> <laughs> yes, I watched the Flyers from Dayton beat my beloved and heavily favored number three seed versus number 11, uh, Orange from Syracuse in the 2014 NCAA basketball tournament. Little did I know. <laughs> or little did you know that our paths would cross again 18 months later here in Dayton, Ohio under these very happy circumstances. Well, I was, um, let's say, disappointed <laughs> at the outcome of that basketball game. I'll now respond to all of your questions about that game and even your friendly digs by saying two words. Go Flyers! Joking aside, the president-elect said that he was looking forward to coming home to Dayton. In a more serious moment of his address, he candidly asked for three requests. The country and around the world to grant me three critical requests. First, that I remain in your prayers. I particularly ask you to pray that I be granted the grace to serve as president with a kind yet discerning head, a gentle yet steadfast heart, and outstretched yet firm hands. Second, that you commit to helping me continue to learn more about the Marianist tradition, the glorious history and values of the University of Dayton, the proud and innovative spirit of the city of Dayton, and the future that you wish for this university and the communities that she serves near and far. And finally, that we commit, that we commit to work together selflessly collaboratively and with common purpose. Selflessly, collaboratively, and with common purpose. To make the University of Dayton an even greater and more diverse university with local and global impact through our teaching and research and community engagement. And as a beacon of Catholic and Marianist values in a world that so very, very desperately needs moral action and not just moral constructs. I am indeed deeply honored and humbled being selected by this opportunity to work with all of you to make our University of Dayton even greater. The conference Thank concluded you. with a brief prayer by Reverend Fitz. Dr. Spina will assume the role of president in July of 2016. For continuing coverage and the latest developments in this story, as well as an FN exclusive interview with Dr. Spina, the President-Elect. Visit us online at flyernews.com or follow us on Twitter at Flyer News.